Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 6th of June 2011. 99 years ago this day, the Alaskan volcano Nova Rupta started to erupt. This eruption became the second largest eruption in the 20th century. The GOES X-ray plot shows that since yesterday we've had one sea flare, but the X-ray background has remained stubbornly at about the B2 level. As you might expect from the X-ray plot, there hasn't been a great deal of development in the sunspot regions. In the north we have just two regions, 1228 and 1232, and both of those seem to be decaying. Regions 1226 and 1227 seem to be the origin of most of the activity, and they've actually got around to numbering the third region in that group, region 1231. So I'm feeling a little vindicated about that. We can see in the white light movie from the HMI instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory, this decay in these active regions. In the magnetic movie you can see that the active regions are getting larger and more diffuse. This means they're getting older and being pulled apart by the differential rotation of the Sun. Let's take a quick look at the Helium 304 image and see what's been going on. The thing to note here are the eruptions on the southeast and the southwest limb. Yesterday we used our hypothesis about filaments and prominences to predict that these two would erupt and indeed they have. Let's take a look at these detailed movies of the process and see how the uh, prominences become more and more unstable as they grow and eventually erupt away from the sun. First the one in the southeast, then followed by the one in the southwest. I never tire of looking at such movies, I think they're exquisite. A fusion of science and art. Enjoy. You can see some hints of these same two eruptions in the coronal movie, but it is very faint. The Soho chronographs show that there are eruptions going on on the sun all the time. We have one beautiful coronal mass ejection off the northeast limb and one just starting off the east limb, probably associated with the earlier filament eruption. From the A data, we see that the temperature, density and velocity of the solar wind has fallen after the passage of the coronal mass ejection from yesterday and that the interplanetary magnetic field has calmed down somewhat. The NOAA 15 satellite shows us the condition of the auroral arc in both the northern and southern hemispheres. Meanwhile the KP index has been varying between 2 and 4, where 4 is considered unsettled. So in summary then, the sunspot number has dropped to 74, the X-ray background has dropped to the B2 level, radio sun is at 103 solar flux units, the solar wind speed has dropped to 440 kilometers per second with a density of about 2 protons per cubic centimeter. And the KP index is rated between quiet and unsettled. My forecast for the next 24 hours will be similar to the last few days, namely there's a good chance of sea flares, whereas the M and X flares seem to be quite unlikely. The sunspot number will probably drift lower yet again. Chronal mass ejections are likely, but the chance of getting a geomagnetic storm is low. In the coronal movie there was some evidence of a new region coming over the northeast limb. However there are no sunspots appearing of it yet and it, so it will probably not be fully visible until tomorrow or even the next day. But I don't think this region is going to be a very large or a significant one. There's an even smaller one coming over the southeast limb in about a day's time. Just a reminder that after Wednesday I'll be on travel and will be giving a public talk at the Clanfield Memorial Hall on the 17th of June at 7.45. Anybody living in the UK uh, is welcome to come along. Details are in the description box below. Clanfield, apart from being a beautiful little village, is also famous for some very intricate crop circles. If you want more details about what's going on in the sun, follow some of the links in the description box below. If you want to see earlier editions of the sun today, then go to my channel as they're all listed there, along with some of my videos on global warming. It's often fun to go back one or two rotations on the sun and see what the sun was like back then compared with now. If you want to go back one rotation, go to my video on the 9th of May. And if you want to go back two rotations, go back to the video on the 12th of April. The links to the, both of those are in the description box below. Today's featured video in Global Warming is a video that I made about what the so-called anthropogenic global warming skeptics actually say rather than what some people claim they say. 
it's an <coughs> it's an interesting contrast. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.